in today's video I'm gonna show you how I created um, a thousand amp shunt in combination of um, midnight solar with bank junior and uh, with Victron smart shunt so it's like a parallel and trying to build i got the uh, whisk bank junior here if you don't know what's a whisk bank junior it, this is the uh the little circuit board right here that works with the mngp which is the display this is the simplest way how midnight operate with that connects to the aux on the charge controller so i'm going to use two metals here bus bars and jumping them here and created these are 500 um amp hours and these are not a 500 yet with the uh, um victron smart shunt so crossing these guys right here, and just like what you do on your um, batteries when you parallel them, or when you're trying to drain them, you have to take the up two opposite sides. So what I'm going to do, two charge controllers going to be sitting here. This is the load side, and this is the, um, the battery side, okay? This is the battery minus coming here, and this is to the load so the shunt is right here and he's going to be taking care of business so this the shunt is just a, a like a resistor it doesn't matter how you position it so you can take um the 500 amp hours it's going to be here on the battery side similar as a uh, um, victron they already said it and you can go and uh the five at uh, the 50 millivolt is going to be on the other side, which is the load side. So sorry for all the mess, the wires here. And um, I decided to go through this process to show you guys how everything is going to work in conjunction to um, the two companies, uh, Victron Energy with a Midnight Solar, American and the uh, Netherlands. So... We see how Europeans and Americans are going to work together. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. GW Solar USA. So in this video, I'm going to take this guy right here, which is already sanded. And so that I can't have any kind of uh, debris. But if you can see, this guy, which is the smart shunt by Victron, is wider. And this one is narrow. So... You can see what happened here. It goes like a kind of a V like. So this is the inverter cable. And this is one of the other charge controller cable. So if we put this together, we're gonna tie them all the way together and put the other charge controller, which is the other cable here, which a Victron goes back here. Let's see how we're gonna pull and this one is just, just going to be a link, a bridge to bring, to share the power from the battery. Stay tuned. I would like to get a bigger wire or maybe loop it this way. But I think I will use a boss bar. This wire right here is the one that goes to the Midnight Classic 150. And another wire down here goes to, which is the... The um, this um, Victron Smart MPPT one fifty seventy, and the other one, this one here is gonna go for the Victron Smart MPPT one fifty eighty five TR. So they're all gonna get inside to the shunt here. I'm using. I wanna measure me measure the accuracy. Of the shunts because I need the uh, whiz bank junior to read me on the classic I'm using as a battery monitor 
I'm using this one as a battery monitor on a tablet, on a phone, so I can make a comparison how if this technology is going to work. So having a 1000 amp shunt is very, very um, expensive. But this other way, I've never seen anyone does what I'm doing right now. I haven't seen anyone perform anything like this before. What I'm doing right now, I don't think I've seen anyone doing this kind of stuff. So, so what we're going to do, we're going to, this side, the Victron has a heavy duty bolt. And this one's uh, smaller. So I have to, to use two uh, wrenches here or spanners here. So what we're going to do, we take this other guy and um, we can put this guy up or down, whatever. So it's, look, it's like a one ch charge controller is seen is measuring the power from one um, shunt and the other one is doing that the classic and the, the 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 thing is here this is the inverter the bigger cable right here is the inverter so I just want to see how this one old concept how is gonna come to play and stay tuned like and subscribe if you think my idea is uh, wise or maybe it's naughty or it's crazy leave that on the description below but if you learning something i would say give us a like and subscribe and share the video to other people so this is not like the most cleanest or the most uh, uh stuff good looking detail but um, we are doing this as a test to see how it works. So like I said earlier, we want to make sure that everything aligns align properly so we can go with that. And for information, the battery we are using here, these are the Volkswagen e-Golf batteries. So you guys have seen this. Uh, this is like 11... I think it's 1,075, something like that, or 1,001 or something. I, I forgot. I'll put it on the description below. And you follow, just go back and look at my Twin Towers. And uh, Volkswagen e-Golf by JW Solar USA. You see exactly what I'm talking about here. So, it is, each battery is 75 amp, amp hours. So, I have uh, 12 of them uh, wired. Six in parallel, six in parallel and series for 24 volts. We are using the Outback um, inverter, GFX 35, 24, 36, so 3600. So now we already guy have this guy wired in parallel. And let's see, we have the main battery here. I would like to have it like in the middle right here of this bus and so that we can have um, a power sharing here in a way that I think is uh, just right on the center point. And this one's are distributing and um, the inverter or maybe I can put the other discharge controller to like in the center here. But like I said, this is just a test. I can able to do this all on the boss bars. So I just want to test this theory and see how everything works. And the power, this is the one that powers the, uh, the uh, Victron Smart Shunt. And um, this is the one that powers the, uh, the Whizbang Junior. He goes to the auxiliary of the Whizbang Junior right there. And that's how it's powered. He's going to be flashing and this guy is flashing as well. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. From the command center of JW Solar USA. Um, stay tuned for part two. There you see how everything works. We don't want to get the videos too long. And there's going to be a little bit of uh, video series here. And if you like what you